What is going on guys? My name is Eric, also known as Aviator, and today we are back out once again in the garage. For those of you guys who don't know the series and what's going on here, first off, sorry for the shaky camera work, but uh, letting you guys know, basically, my dad, who's the man right there, and I are working on my home. Uh, I, I bought this house in March. Uh, this past year, my wife and I live here with our son, and we're working on this backside of the house. We had this small garage that had a little tiny mother-in-law apartment in it that you're looking at right now. We ripped the walls out. We're basically doing all that we can right now to modify it, and then adding on to it through the garage and workspace area into a full-on guest house. Now, we're putting a little loft up here where you just see right there at the top. It's kind of tough to see in the dark, but you'll see more of that in a little while. And what we're doing right now is basically doing all the construction elements of it. Now, first off, on the right side of the camera right now, uh, we removed a wall. We've added a double-sized door for a French door. Uh, we are basically tearing every piece of wall, drywall, piece of crap out right now, doing all that we can to kind of modify this place and make it look good. Right there, we're adding stairs up to the top loft, which is where the bed will be, the big, big clean-sized bed up there. You can see the big high ceilings now. Uh, we're going to end up taking where those 2x4s are that are spanning the roof. We're taking those out, putting in 4x4s uh, and some you know heavy equipment there with some nice lighting. Uh, we're going to be moving that hot, that hot yeah the hot water heater yes the heat water heater i can't get my words together we're moving that but today's project that i'm going to be sharing with you guys is putting these boards in place now first off we're driving tr drilling some pilot holes because this is some very old very very solid pine and i have to say like Seriously, trying to drill uh, that with just a, a screw is a giant pin of toxinous. So you can see here, my dad's uh, marking it up. We're trying to keep them the exact same length and width, etc. We're going to do some quick sawing. And we're going to actually go back into the mother-in-law apartment where we removed all the spanner boards to put these up to add a little more strength to the ceiling so we don't have the ceiling fall down. Uh, actually, kind of interesting tidbit on this. A lot of you guys seem to really enjoy the series. And as an interesting thing, the... Uh, Biggest comment we had on the last video was, be careful, be careful, we don't want to, uh, you don't want to remove all those boards, they're structural, and actually they were structural, but we had enough uh, foundation because it's plugged into the side of the other side of the house, we figured it'd be okay. So uh, the morning, as you can see there, it's a little bit chilly, I'm actually wearing, uh, wearing one of my old surf hoodie things, uh, flannel things, because it was actually a chilly morning here in Florida, which is very rare. And uh, the next piece you should notice is that little tiny circular hole in the top left-hand side. Sadly, I lost the footage, but there was a four-inch exhaust pipe uh, for the sewage system there, and I thought that was hilariously weird. So we removed that. Uh, when my hard drive laptop, my laptop hard drive crashed, I lost so much great footage, including us sawing that out. It was cast iron. And uh, that was lots of sparks flying everywhere. It was pretty entertaining to watch, but alas, it's gone. We also lost the footage of the, the wall being removed. But as you can see here, I'm jumping down. That's the spanners we're putting in place. We put the spanners all the way across. Here's my brother James. He's removing the old uh, upstairs area. As you can see, these boards are really crappy. A lot of them have just been, you know, they're falling apart. That's that they're, they're horrible. So we're actually going to put a lower header in and do all that we can to... Uh, basically make this place beautiful and strong, etc. And uh, as we finish up the co the construction side of things, we'll be adding, doing the electrical work. And from the electrical work, we'll move forward into uh, drywall, excuse me, insulation, then drywall, etc. And as I have done, I'm going to do what I can to bring you guys along on every step of the journey. I do apologize that I ran out of footage for this one. I have not had much time lately to get out there and work, uh, sadly, because I am doing the project with my dad. And I'm excited to have him there, you know, and doing the whole thing with me. It's kind of a bummer, though, because he's really busy right now, so he hasn't been able to come out and help me. And so it's kind of been on the back burner. But I've been pressure washing my house because I like things to be clean, so... Yay. A uh, little tidbit update for you guys that watch this series. I am working on getting a motorcycle sometime in the next few weeks, and I'll be having a whole other series on building or fixing that motorcycle up. It is going to be absolutely epic. Uh, if you guys want to see kind of what my plans are for it, you can go to my website, aviatorshow.com, go to the forum, uh, and then in the off-topic area, well, that's a lot of its instructions. Regardless, it's there. There's some good data there I think you guys will dig. I'm going to make a cafe racer, and uh, I think it's going to be pretty swell. So this has been a minute of black screens. I hope you enjoyed the black screens, and uh, I'll look forward to talking to you all very soon. And looking forward, actually, to getting back outside and working on this cottage some more. I'm excited about it. So, anyway, let me know what you thought of the video, guys. I'll talk to you very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.